channel i am so sorry i didn't get to post a video last friday but i have jumped in this seat as soon as i started to feel a bit better we've been down with this virus i don't know what it is it wasn't covid but it really took us downtown this household has been quite a sad place to be over the past week or so but you know we're all getting better and i did need to get this out because this is our very very last e5p haul of 2022 as you know i love an e5p haul all you ladies do as well so any ideas that you want for new year's eve dresses uh, shoes heels etc then i've got the whole fandangle here this video is actually being sponsored by anna luisa i've collaborated with them a number of times in the past they are a jewelry brand they are sustainable they are carbon neutral their jewelry does not tarnish it's waterproof it doesn't scratch it's proved itself over time i can vouch for this because i've tried a lot of the jewelry and i still have it today and i wear it a lot i will actually show you one of my most favorite pieces from an Ana Luisa haul I did way back this gorgeous watch strap bracelet it is just stunning I've gone down the gold route so if gold isn't your thing you might want to fast forward to my e5p haul the first item I'm going to show you are these earrings I don't know if you've noticed them already these are their Dane earrings they are dagger shaped this is very very trendy at the moment they are 14 karat gold and inside here you have a cubic zirconia I know that in years to come these will still look just as brand new as they do now they're a statement piece they're a bit rocky and they're very very on trend and they look quality and that is the key so i'm super super chuffed with those right moving on to a necklace my giddy this is one of my favorites it's absolutely beautiful this comes in at 74 pounds so the same price as these earrings this is again solid brass then dipped in 14 carat gold that is absolutely gorgeous just a really really classic well-made piece and i love it right third item is another pair of earrings this is more of your subtle look but we're going down the rope chain effect a nice little subtle statement piece these are their fey earrings and they come in at 55 pounds and they're brass dipped in 14 karat gold i won't try these on because i'm really liking these right now but again it just shows you the different styles that you can get from Ana luisa these are absolutely beautiful beautiful they are again brass dipped in 14 karat gold and laden with cubic zirconia all the way round these come in at 64 pounds thought they were absolutely stunning again a beautiful little gift that is number four and then last but not least and i have saved this one till last there you have it it's a really good quality it's got weight to it it's brass it's dipped in 14 karat gold on the last class there's a little cubic zirconia so so it's all in the detail mixing and matching jewelry as well there we go so that's all five pieces it's honestly so so fab i love the company and i love their jewelry and i guess that's the most important thing because if i didn't love their jewelry i wouldn't work with them right let's crack on with this haul i've already taken everything out so i'm going to just go through one by one everything i will link down below for you as i do every single week to any items that you see in the video let's start with heels heels number one so if you are going to a new year's eve party and you want a super bright red pair of heels how cute are those there's no leather in this shoe at all that's a very very cute pair of heels i think proper old-fashioned t-bar heel there you go i think they are very very cute cute so if you did have maybe a little lbd in fact the lbd i'm wearing with these heels could look really cool or if you do have a red dress or you've got a colorful dress with red in it that's a nice little pop of color it's almost like a faux suede effect so it does have a nice touch to it so yeah there we go you can't say fairer than that for a fiver right okay wow 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 <laughs> i hope these are still in because i tell you what ladies these are a good buy if you are looking for a really really new year's eve party heel then look no further they are fab great shape good height as well so we've probably got about four inches there i'm in a uk four so these are obviously uk four i will be keeping those um, i hope they do have them still in stock because ladies that is a good buy 
quite, I believe we have two of the same type of shoe, but just in two different colors. I've never actually seen like a reflective box, which is quite cool. I think I might have to keep that and store stuff in it. And here they are in their own habitat. Yeah, they're a fab pair of heels. I mean, look, hi, great. There's a zip at the back and you've got these little bow details all the way up the foot. There we go. So those are them in silver. I also have them in the champagne, which are here. I like these a lot. So this is a very subtle goldy color, but super cute. I think I prefer them in the champagne, I've got to be honest. Perfect for New Year's Eve, if I don't say so myself. Right, those are all four of the heels. Let's move on to dresses. First dress I'm going to show you is from, I believe, this is a Zara. It's a Zara. This color, I mean, this color is absolutely magnificent. I have never said that word ever before in my life. Uh, but doesn't it look like a magnificent color? Beautiful, beautiful colour. It's a crushed velvet, I think they'd call it. This is in a 10 to 12. Honestly, it still looks quite small. Can't go wrong with a bit of velvet over the festive season. I think it's a really gorgeous colour as well. Very reflective. You could really mimic that in the makeup that you wear as well. But yeah, a really, really stunning colour. And it's a Zara. So obviously we know it wouldn't have cost a fiver in Zara. So we're getting a little bargain there. So yeah, I think that's absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if I'd go down the route of silver jewellery or gold jewellery with this. But you'll be seeing on the split screen what I do. Um, so yeah, that is item number one. <laughs> At first glance, I thought this was from Zara because look at the labeling. That looks very Zara to me. But no, it's not. This is a brand called Atex. I got this in a 10 to 12. It's a really silky dress, a long sleeve, very feminine, very floaty satiny dress for a fiver or just over. So I just thought that was fab. The back does have a very strange detail in the fact that it is, it's open to one side slightly. I don't really know how that's going to look, but you'll be seeing anyway on the split screen. The main part of the dress is actually lined but your arms are not not sheer but a lot thinner material on the arms so it's a cute little polka dot dress so um, yeah, I think you could team it up with some nice navy or black heels because I think you could go either way with this. There we go. You'll be seeing anyway what it looks like on the split screen, but it's a very silky special occasion type material. So if that's your vibe, that's your vibe. This is lush. This isn't a dress. This is actually a top. Now I haven't done this. I haven't done this in the fact that I've ever bought a top from E5P. There's like a proper going out top. This is gorgeous. If you're watching Wednesday on Netflix, it's got a kind of Wednesday vibe to it. I love it. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. It's high neck. It's long sleeve. It's a really good quality. It's like a printed velvet. It's almost like embossed where you can see the flower. I just think it's really pretty. I think that with some faux leather trousers or a faux leather skirt. So I'm really pleased I picked that up. I didn't think it was going to be as good a quality. Now, I don't know what the brand is. It doesn't have a brand name. I tell you what, if that was in Zara, I think people would be buying that. I like it and I can tell you it's a good quality as well. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Wow, this is a big piece. Now, this looks very, very Indian to me because it's absolutely beautiful. It's a long maxi dress, although I believe it's quite bodycon. It's quite, you know, it's it's a bodycon dress, but it's long. It's a lot of material for a fiver or maybe just a bit more. This comes in a multitude of colors. I've got it in, I believe, black as well. This isn't new on. These have been on for about two months, I would say. I've just been waiting to pick one up to try it for more of a you know Christmas New Year's Eve party haul but it is a long old dress oh my gosh that I think that's literally gonna drown me now by the looks of it as well it comes with straps so it comes with these clear straps and inside the front you've got these little clips so if you do feel a little bit vulnerable or you do want a bit of extra support I got this in a medium so I got this in a 10 to 12 hopefully that does fit I believe I did get it in a black as well well, for a ball or a prom or an evening dress. Wow, and what a steal. You know what? You could probably wear those red heels with this. I'd probably go down the gold route, but yeah, there's the options there. Wow. This next dress, I love it. I think this is a high street brand because it's been cut out. So if anyone recognizes this, do let me know down in the comments because I don't know everything. <laughs> It is a absolutely fab dress. I think potentially I could have gone for the eight to 10 in this, but if you're looking for a special occasion dress, it's velvet. It's got these gorgeous little kind of detailing. It reminds me very much of that top from my Primark haul last week, which I absolutely love by the way.
way. So this is almost like a dress version of that top. I really, really do like this. And I think rocking this with some black tights and black boots and a black biker jacket, these earrings, I think that's a vibe. Or if it's more for a special occasion, then some nice black or gold heels and a gold clutch. I really, really like that. And I've got to tell you, ladies, that is pretty good quality. And I'd love to know what shop it came from. It's a very thin label. There it is there. So if you recognize it, it's got a puffy sleeve as well and goes thinner here. So I think it's going to kind of create a bit of shape and a bit of design on the arms as well. But yeah, I love that. I think that's absolutely awesome. Right, this dress I picked up because it's got a little bit of sheen to it. It's got a bit of sparkle. It's actually been sewn with glittery thread, which is what's giving it that sheeny detail. So I would say this is probably down to the knee or just above the knee. And then you've got this bright pink or cerise pink stitching all the way down in almost like a pinstripe detail. You've got a little bit of poofing at the shoulders. It feels like there's a very thin shoulder pad in there. So hopefully that will kind of give a little bit of va va vum on the shoulders. I think that might look quite nice, you know. I think it's one of those items that doesn't look too nice off the body, but it actually kind of works out when you put it on. You've got an extra little tie here. So if you want that extra pull in at the waist, you just tie that up. Again, this is a high street brand. I think I need to get an app that um, just scans the color of the label and it just immediately tells you what it is. Wouldn't that be amazing? Well, it would be for me. So yeah, there we go. I mean, you'll be seeing this on the split screen. At the moment, I'm thinking it's a positive, but you just don't know with E5P, do you? So um, it's an alternative dress that isn't too sparkly or two in your face but it's still got that little bit of va va foam with the stitching so fiver for that oh my giddy ladies uh i think it's going to look, i'm hoping it's going to look better on than it does off but i've got to tell you it feels great i've got to be honest it's well made it's just it's whether you're it's your thing or not i got it in a 10 to 12 so hopefully it will fit fine this is like a bronze isn't it it's by a brand called allison and again i got it in a 10 to 12 it's got some cuffs as well so literally i don't know what this is going to look like on i'm sure you're having a good old laugh to yourselves <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a hit or miss piece. It was just too wow to not get. Right, next dress is actually not too dissimilar to the dress that I'm actually wearing. And the stretch, the sheer, the long sleeve. There we go. So it is like a, a leopard print long sleeve black dress. This is a very, very deep V. It is a brand. I don't know what the brand is. And it's ruched all the way down the body. It's got some good stretch. The sheer arms as well, I just think are very, very sexy. I do love that kind of sheer arm look. The rest of it is completely covered and it could look absolutely fab don't get me wrong i'm just looking at it and thinking this could possibly be too short but with regards to quality it's a good quality dress i like it i just hope it's not going to be too short and i don't know what the brand is so again let me know Right, are you ready for this one? This one is insane and insane in a good way, I think. This is just something else. Wow. I really hope that this fits and it's not too short because I'm in love with this. What I will say is they had this colour combo and another colour combo, which was just bronzes and golds and blacks. And that was stunning. They didn't have it in my size, but I don't know if they're going to be getting some more in. This is the type of dress that you want to wear for New Year's Eve. It's fun. It's fab. It's bright. It's amazing. I like the fact as well that it's a completely square neck. I always find these a lot more flattering on me, especially if there isn't any sleeves. So I don't really like wearing dresses without sleeves, but if I do, a square neck and a very simple spaghetti strap is right up my street. So my giddy, I'm in love with it. And like I said, I hope it fits because I will be absolutely chuffed and I will wear this for New Year's Eve and I will take a photograph and I will put it on my Instagram. And I got it in a medium. So actually this is in a 10 to 12. So you'll seeing it on me in a 10 to 12 that is just an absolute piece and an absolute keeper for me so i do hope if you like it they do have some on the website like i said when it's gone it's gone but, um, right ladies yeah. this is the black one to the red one so here it is in the black as it's hanging you can see that it does have a quite a bit of padding in the boob area which i didn't really kind of point out with the red one earlier but that's actually a good detail so i don't think i would need to wear the clear straps i think you're going to be held up pretty well around the bust area it does feel really secure and the back as well is a nice thick elastic but yeah there we go that's it in black and again extremely long actually this brand i didn't tell you is called uh, the trichotonic collection and i'm wearing it in a medium and again obviously it comes with all these extra straps as well but as an evening dress if it fits it's an absolute keeper for me a pretty incredible evening dress for a fiver
Wow, wow, wow. Oh my goody. It is a dress. It's low at the back, long sleeves, and it's in this plissé material, which we're seeing a lot of at the moment. It's very, very thin though. This I would definitely take on holiday with me and wear of an evening. It's very, very lightweight, but it's stunning. So a lovely evening type dress. This is actually um, a high street brand as well. Not too sure again who that is. Yeah, and it's got a slightly low back, which you would need. Otherwise you would just literally look like a zeppelin and a condom a really really fun dress a very very sheeny very shiny and obviously very much a party dress i don't know what the brand is but it is definitely a high street brand and i'm wearing it in a uk tent i think this is top shop that's just a wild guess it does say made in the united kingdom which i just didn't think anything was made in the united kingdom these days uh, so i think that is potentially a top shop dress fiver for that super shiny very very special occasion dress i like it Oh my giddy. Um, I don't know about this. I don't like the upper arms. For me, I think if it's going to have a sleeve, it needs to be either a sleeve or no sleeve. But anyway, there we go. And it is very, very sparkly, bronzy, orangey colour. I'm not too sure what this is going to look like. It's not really my kind of thing. I wanted to risk it because I wanted to see if it was better in real life than it is on the website. And it is. Everything is always better in real life than it is on the E5P website. But I still don't know if I'm in love with it put it that way um the brand is called jolio and co and i got it in a small to medium so i think this is probably in like a uk 10 i think the length is the thing that's going to save this dress i think if it was a mini it would be no thank you i am not putting that on overall not too keen on that one Right, we've got another Jolie & Co. Now, this is a very cutesy, kind of girly evening dress, in my opinion, or party dress. This seems like a much younger type of dress than my age, personally. I, th I think that's my personal opinion, but I just thought it was a really pretty dress to show you. It's an unusual kind of material. It's very stretchy. It is lined, and it has this almost painted-on flower print in, in silver. It's I think it's a really, really pretty dress. Now, the upper part of it is almost like a grey mesh with the kind of sweet heart detailing around the bust area and it's very much a skater style like i said it's not the type of thing that i would normally pick up but i did want to point it out it's actually a very very pretty dress um i'm wearing it in a small to medium so that would be an eight to ten i'm guessing silver heels silver clutch silver jewelry and really sparkly makeup and you could make that look really really fab now this is a simple Christmassy red knee length. I would call this almost like a tulip shape because you can see there how it ruches up at the front and you've got a slight lift at the hem. Now this dress comes in about, I don't know, eight, potentially 10 different colors. I went for the red because it's very festive and obviously this video we should have been out last week. So I was kind of giving you ideas for a Christmas day dress or a Christmas party dress. But anyway, it's a lovely red. It's a really good red. It's a stretchy material. The only thing I would say is potentially it needs needs a slight clip or a popper here. It's those little details that often get missed um, on E5P brands, but you've got great detailing down the side, which is nice, it's on the hip. I think that's a good base for a really fab outfit. And what I mean by that is it's a simple dress. You need to add accessories to this. You need to add a really fab bag and heels and a big old smile. But yeah, this dress comes in many, many colors. So it's definitely worth checking it out if you like this style. So a fiver for that. Right, what do we have here? Okay, when I first saw this, I thought, oh, I don't know. But now I'm looking at it, I think it's got some good details. It looks like velvet, but this is very, very much a, uh, a black velour. It's a wrap dress, really, and it's actually being pulled together by this insane Dumonti clip here, which is quite special, I guess. I'm just not sure about the quality of this. I mean, I'm gonna steam everything, so when you see it on me, everything will be steamed. This is just fresh out of the packaging. But as a dress, Dress. It is actually a very, very nice classic dress. You've got the white polka dot on a black velvet and you've got the option to really cinch your waist in using this clasp at the waist. So yeah, I think that's a really, really pretty dress. But I would definitely be wearing Dimonte heels with that Dimonte clutch and some very, very big Dimonte earrings as well. And I think that could really, really work. Right, ladies, that is the last dress of this haul, the last dress, last item. I hope I'm not too late getting this to you, but according to E5P, you can still make orders for New Year's Eve 
keep right up until the 28th, 29th of December. So hopefully, if there's anything that you liked in this haul, you've got enough time to grab it. Gotta be honest with you, that sparkly sequin dress was absolutely incredible. The two maxi dresses were beautiful. The black velvet dress with the little gold dots on and the velvet top. Oh my gosh, I am very, very excited to try that on. Obviously, you've already seen me trying them on. Uh, so hopefully I did fall in love with that. And don't forget, if there's anything in this haul that you've seen, including the Ana Luisa jewellery, will be linked down below in the description box. I would be so grateful if you could use any of my affiliate links. They are also down below as well. They will take you directly to the item. But thank you for your continued support is what I'm trying to say. And until 2023, ladies, have an incredible Christmas. Have an incredible New Year. I really couldn't do this without you. And hopefully we're just going to continue to grow and grow and grow with lots of exciting collaborations to come next year to so have a fantastic christmas have a fantastic new year and i will see you on the flip side but it will be next year take care Bye. last year i thought about